Hello and welcome to Alan Wake 2, which has been a long time coming. I started the whole Alan Wake journey because my partner is watching someone else play Alan Wake 2 and he said, you're going to love this game. And I'm like, well, I have to play the first one now and Control and it's DLC. But we're finally here. Uh, you might notice I've continued on. I had to record for a bit to mess with audio of levels because it was a bit low for me as well on my side and um i'm very confused about the initial section <laughs> i am very <laughs> confused about what the fuck is going on in the beginning <laughs> i did mess with some settings i put horror flash as low for audio and visual because i'm a pussy um yeah, the graphics are fine. I also noticed there's a, a good old nudity sensor, which will be become apparent as we start a new game, but I have no idea what's going on. Um, I end my control playthrough by saying how frustrated I was that once things started involving Alan Wake, it was very confusing because I didn't know if I was being stupid and couldn't. I hate those flashes so much and I was interpreting the story wrong or if the story was supposed to be interpreted wrong. Turns out the answer is that the story, you're supposed to have theories and none of them are 100% correct. Which is brilliant writing, but it's so frustrating when you just want answers. Uh, so yeah, and apparently Alan Wake 2 does not give you those answers, so that's gonna be fun. Um, new game, I suppose. It does have a story mode, so hopefully this is easier than easy in Alan Wake 1. I hope. Okay. Back to the beginning. Yep. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. <laughs> is it though, Alan? Is it? The game is mocking me. Just... It's fantastic how far Remedy has come. Holy shit. The graphics in Alan Wake 2 are so good. Fantastic work, Remedy. So this is where the game starts. I was very confused when I skipped the initial cutscene and I just jumped into this to test audio. Um, yeah. You were naked men on the woods? Can we see ourselves? Okay, just I can't see the face of the person. So I won't be able to identify who it is. Well, by voice it's not Barry. I think he's just a random dude. Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> Holy shit. Guys? No? You're not gonna help me? Okay. 
leave this old man naked in the woods. Look at my bum. Yeah, that's why they never do the tea thing. <laughs> oh, I can zoom in. That's something. I think it's just a fence. Oh, by the way, when we're playing this, we're going to be replaying it, because apparently the final draft is... Oh! It's New Game Plus, and apparently it had something to the ending. Oh! Alan, please. Would be that? Would that be Alan or Mrs. Scratch, actually? Hmm... Okay. I already did get an achievement for the end of this section, so if that doesn't pop out, don't be surprised. <laughs> I was trying to test as much as I could the audio. Is that... It has to be, right? Well, they keep showing it and they're not... Oh. Uh, 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 um... Oh, thanks. Can I go into it? No. Up we go, then. I was a bit lost while I was recording this, so I know the path of it. Okay. Can't read any of this. Let me go this way. Oh, it's like the house is in Alan. Like, like comparing Alan Wake one to this, it's fucking night and day. It's so wonderful. Like Remedy has come so far. The car, right? Oh, oh, uh, 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 um. I think I don't want to. Uh, no, no, no. I think I'm fine. Oh, there's another one. Oh, they just spawned behind me. Word? The bird? What the fuck are they doing? Oh, he's turned it into another thriller where the shadows are part of a cult. Oh, we just tried to see penis. Okay, cool. Eight minutes in. Penis. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love that. That was good. I was like, when is it going to come? And the music was really good too. <laughs> it's wonderful. Hey kiddo. How are you? I'm good, mom. How are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, mom, it's not your fault. People get all murdery. <laughs> Work stuff. Right. 
Oh, don't watch that. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Hi. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. <laughs> So that's Sam Lake. That's his image. I'm guessing he's also doing the voice. And that's the name. Here we are. Cauldron Lake. That's the name of Alan's character. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car. So where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? I'll check out that map. Oh, invitation. I like how they kept the control thing. Uh, worth memorizing before we get swallowed up by the trees. It does look like we'll get swallowed up by the trees considering the I should take a look at that map. Uh Pick up a map. Could be our deputy. I can go take a look. Sorry, I'm just gonna go wherever I'm shouldn't be going. <laughs> Wait, it said I had a map. Oh shit. Does that mean I get to explore all of this? <gasps> That's amazing. That's where we were. The, the cops are probably here. This way is closed. Locked. They really don't want people coming in here. Oh, oh, oh. Rest wildlife in the Pacific Northwest. I fell and made my way to Cauldron Lake. The fence was easy to climb over with the proper gear and skills, which I thankfully possess. Next door, spotting the rare and elusive Orange Crowned Warbler. A little late in the season, but hopefully I can catch it before it begins its journey to the south. I've noticed intriguing behavior in the surrounding common bird life. They seem to be alarmed and swarm around the lake. No birds of prey nearby. There are some strange sounds carried on the wind, however, nothing I can recognize or explain. Getting a little concerned, I might have to find another spot somewhere safe. The sounds are getting closer. Moved inland, foliage stunning, must come back in fall. I had to stop and sketch this gorgeous vine maple just at the just at the way the Mathula's beard hangs off of it. This is why trees are better than people. Speaking of people, saw some drunk guy sangering around the forest earlier, acting weird, maybe drugs. Kept my distance, should probably find a spot so annoying. After I saw the weird guy, I decided to change spots again. I moved up the mountain a bit, found a fantastic overlook to camp at, but I'm more interested in this Alaska onion grass. In invasive, but edible and su surprisingly tasty. Started hearing wolves or wild dogs or something like 10 minutes ago, but they sound wrong. Rabies? Want to leave, but the sun is going down and my stupid phone is dead. Gonna hide in the tent, hope they go away. Something is really not right about this place. Why did you break in, you motherfucking idiot? Oh, you can- like, it's actually written. 
Oh my god, that's awesome. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's, uh, this. Wait. I wish I could have a minimap. Is that, like, the... Oops. Is this the... No, there's a, another one. Okay. It is this way. Okay. Well, Saga doesn't want to go forward. So I don't know if I can reach whatever that is. It's so weird to figure out what path she can or cannot go through. That just takes me down. Alright, let's find those cops. Can I look at the car? That's yeah, just a normal car. Oh, hi. Welcome back, Anderson. Sorry. Saga Anderson, I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. <laughs> Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... Where's your damn pit gonna show up, Mulligan? That fool agent's right here, Thornton. <laughs> my partner, Thornton. <laughs> Down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. <laughs> Is this a comedy game? Uh Any witness? Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. Not that we have anything against city folk, right, Thornton? But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took them back to town a while ago. I could use a briefing. Tell us about the crime scene. Tell them about the heart. Let's just get into that, Thornton. <laughs> well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, but you know, inside. Uh huh. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure. That's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store. You can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Mulligan, tell them I'm here, will you? I'll turn around. You got this, Mulligan. So this, this was closed by the FBC. Yeah, okay. I love this. Connections. Can I go? Oh, there's a fence there and I can't. <laughs> I love Thornton. <laughs> I'm seeing the clues clearly. Ooh. Case board. So oh my god. My version of the mind palace technique. <laughs> of course. Clues and work the case. <laughs> Building the mind place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. Uh-huh. Interesting, huh? Very interesting. 
the mind palace. Oh, I love it. I wonder if there's symbolism to a lot of this stuff. <laughs> it's Alex Casey. And is that your little kid or is that you as a kid? I think it's your little kid, isn't it? Oh, I can't leave my mind palace. I'm stuck in the mind palace. I love this. It's so good. Oh, that's the map of Cauldron Lake. Everything we know about the previous murder. It's worth taking another look. Caseboard is a mental technique that allows Saget to analyze clues and progress the investigation. You can use the right stick to move around. You can zoom in left and yeah. And move the cursor. You're not free to navigate the case board or leave by pressing B. Okay, so starting from here. Why? Oh. So this is just the previous murders, okay? Previous murders. A series of murders have occurred around the town of Bright Falls. Finding the connections will help out search for the killer. Or search for the killer. Murder method. Slight difference in murders. Bloating only common commonality in bodies, but not cause of death, chest trauma, exposure to water post-mortem. So two of the victims are bruising some form of restraint, strapped or belted down. Most recent victim died of a major chest trauma consistent with 2018 victim, hard to confirm due to condition of the body. Bloating and corpses indicative of drowning, but only one victim was found in water. So they were kept in water and that caused bloating because the guy was looked bloated when we we're playing as him killer profile talk to someone victim three was covered in illegible tattoos a message from the killer maybe or the art apart from going missing in 2010 the victims have nothing apparent in common Killer may be a sportsman or a hunter. Chest trauma resembles animal butchery techniques. Victims. All victims reported missing in 2010. No other commonalities. Ted Lane, dentist, stab wound, bloating, bruising on the wrist. The victim was reported missing in 2010, discovered in 2012. Buried in a shallow grave. Wendy Davis teacher body bloated, large chest wound. Found in Cauldron Lake 2018, some organs missing, predation. State of body does not match eight years spent in Lake. Percy Wolf, store owner, bruising heart removed, strange tattoos. Found two weeks ago, chest wound uh, was ruled as cause of death. Tattooing on the body is illegible. Okay. What is. Oh, that's the map. Ooh, these are all things I can look at. And I'll eventually be able to make my way to the rental cabins, and this is where I need to go for the murder. Okay. I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. This is beautiful. <laughs> Too much sky. Yeah. Okay, you used to be able to go that way. Can't go this way. I love this game so much. Oh, is this where the guy um parked up? Like, this looks like a rudimentary shelter. A bit. Just a bit. Hey, Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You crack cases that have the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. <laughs> Real funny, Anderson. 
Oh, okay, that's it. I was wondering if there was a way to save, but uh, I'll have to wait for a checkpoint. I'll be back in a second. Roger. Ooh. This is a rental cabins. A creepy twig sculpture. Oh, that's more evidence. Oh, part of the cult. They said the cult. There's no. They said they were the cult. Cult of the word. They didn't specify what the word is, trees, but then they did talk about trees. Chaos at Cauldron Lake. Rampage at rental cabins. An unidentified man attacks vacationers in the bed of night. Sunday, an idyllic evening of barbecuing and late night fishing was violently disrupted Saturday as a mysterious assailant attacked park visitors, causing chaos and, and destruction at the cabins. The incident left three people injured, one of which has been admitted to the county hospital. As to whether the attacker is still at large, Bright Falls police have yet to make an official statement leaving local residents in a state of uncertainty. Witnesses of the crimes were visibly shaken, one of whom stated, one minute we were laughing and toasting some marshmallows, the next we heard screaming come up from the cabins. We didn't know what was going on, so we called the police and started running in the opposite direction, said Kurt Mill. Another eyewitness, who preferred to remain anonymous, said, it's like he appeared out of nowhere. Suddenly my dog starts barking his head off, and the psycho guy comes crashing through the trees. Don't think I'll ever feel safe in the forest again. A representative from the rental cabins, who chose to remain anonymous, wanted to remind customers, if you have plans to stay in our lovely cabins late this summer, please get in touch with, it, with us, as we may need to rejigger some of the reservations based on the state of the cabin that you have rented with us. The representative, representative went on further to remind future and potential guests of the wonderful amenities that can be found in the company's brochures and on the website. Which is real nice, state of the art. My nephew made it and he's a real computer whiz. Okay, <laughs> dude, that it doesn't work the way you want it. Does a hike a day keep depression away? It might be bright sunny July, but it's never too soon to start worrying about the gloomy months of autumn ahead. That's right, in the grand scheme of life, who, who, those dead depressing days are just around the corner. Have you been taking your vitamin D? Probably not. But for all of you thinking, there's got to be another way, there's good news. Hiking has been proved incredibly beneficial to your mental and emotional health, so get on out there and do it. Just don't forget a flashlight in case it gets dark. Uh -huh -huh. Missing Doberman found on the trail. A heartfelt reunion took place in this weekend's when Mrs. Amanda Smith was reunited with her beloved dog, Coffee Bean. CB, as his owner refers to him, has been missing for three days and Mrs. Smith was afraid she would never see her best friend again. When I got the call, I couldn't believe my ears, she said. I must have asked, am I dreaming? At least seven or eight times. It was actually nine times, confirmed Ranger Stevenson, the man responsible for finding the wayward canine. It's rare that you get to give those kind of calls and I feel real grateful to have had the opportunity. What with all the predators out there, usually you're telling folks that you found their dogs dead, their cats eaten, you know. And so it was really good to give some good news. Even if Coffee Bean is in kind of a rough shape. The fur will grow back, sure, but well, I suppose that's all I should say about that now. Sussy. Bright Falls own virtual baking champ. Little Sally Upton's whole family erupted into cheers when she won the big match this weekend. Was she playing soccer? Tennis? No, in this brave new world that we live in, her family was cheering her as she won a match in a game that exists only on the information superhighway. The game in question was Mega Baking Star, <laughs> in which players compete to make the tastiest treats and sweetest eats for the virtual judges online. Bright Falls congratulates Sally on her big win. <laughs> Bright Falls is an esports champion. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever said this on on a video, but uh, I was looking to vote uh, a while ago for the Portuguese elections. So I was reading up on the manifestos that all the parties came up with. And one of them was, we will make esports an actual sport. And I just stopped reading at that moment. And I was like, I'm not voting for you. <laughs> If that's what you feel you need to prioritize in your manifesto, I'm just going to ignore you. <laughs> oh. the, the rest of their policies were also shit, so you know. Please do not feed the wildlife. Raccoons may be cute, but they are not cuddly. Leave no trace. 
Starting fires is prohibited. I haven't found a single fucking page. What is this bullshit? This is not an Alan Wake game. You okay to jump down? I'm not that old. <laughs> yeah, like Casey Jones was a character in the Alan Wake books. So is he a character or is he real? I'm not gonna find out the answer. Mirror Peak, the mighty mountain in the distance is no other than Mirror Peak, the iconic landmark overlooking Cauldron Lake. From the right angle, its beauty will be reflected on the calm surface of the lake, mirrored in all its inverted glory. There she, there she is. I supposed to be able yeah like it marks it on my map cauldron lake campgrounds okay I think I saw something it'll only take a minute I'll wait here oh they they inform each other when you decide to fuck off oh okay it's like I'm not going that way Oh, I see something weird. Oh, we're not, we're not, we're not noting that. Okay. There's a lot of dream catchers. Mortar Falls. This powerful feat of nature will revive the spirit as it does the surrounding nature. The churning, grinding waters at the bottom of the falls resemble a mortar and pestle, quite like the one in which cauldron quite like the one the witch of cauldron lake is fable to have used to travel through the night sky what the what now okay the witch of cauldron lake oh i like painty painted um is that a kid's lunchbox yes He hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a freak. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> he hates those cheesy crime books, but he really hates the movie. My dad used to say, when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. Not sure what the th tough get going to, but maybe you'll find it expiring. You find just fragments? Manuscript fragments can be used to upgrade weapons in the my place. Oh. Oh. Hell yeah. Oh my god, it costs so much. Again and again, hold the fire button to activate auto fire mode. This significantly increases the rate of fire. Increases magazine size by 50%. Land two headshots in quick succession to stun an enemy for an extended duration. Ooh. I like the map. More, more bullets. Keep clicking that, and that doesn't give me anything. Oh, hi. You could get lost, Anderson. It's not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. It is kind of a terrible place to get murdered, Anderson. Jesus Christ. sense to put up a tarp if they did next coffee's on me okay why which is hot I can you just go this way
Oh, can I go into the water? Okay. Well, she's still willing to go into the water, which I appreciate. What is this? Camping do's and don'ts. Ooh. Oh, wait, what the hell was that? I see my inventory. Where's my inventory screen? Saga, can I see my inventory? You had a bunch of cool shit and I want to look at it. Yeah. So that was that. Which is hot. Welcome back, Anderson. I want to walk around for a minute. You know where to find me. <laughs> Here live the witch of Cauldron Lake. Beware, a spirit may still haunt this place. Jump scare. Seems new. Okay. Uh, I was just opening and opening. You can just watch the scenery. It looks quite nice. Uh, what else can I go see? Nice. Friday, Midge told me today that our family is moving away. This sucks. I haven't even told her that I like her yet. What's the point anymore? She said her parents want to get better jobs and get her to a better school in the big city. I guess that's fair. Who wants to stay in bright fucking falls? Sunday. So I told her. She said thanks. Fucking kill me. <laughs> Poor dude. Uh, Monday. I snuck out last night again. Went to a big house by the lake instead of just watching it from here like I always do. Instead of just sitting around like I always do. Screw that. Anyway, something weird is going on down there. I'm going to find out what. Going to go back there tomorrow with better gear. I bet I can find a way inside the building, take some photos. It's going to be epic. That kid is fucking dead. I want to see what that little locket is. A lunchbox again. Oh, nice. Who's leaving these out here? Oh, they're all like, uh, they have these like little things in it. I know things can get a little crazy around here, but if you're ever feeling scared, just remember that Alan is watching over us. So okay, I don't like that. I don't like that at all, actually. Why do you have to put it like that? Oh boy. Ay ay ay. Wish I could access the map more easily. Oh, this is gonna be at a some point a fight. This lake, this area is actually genuinely spooky. No, I can't go there. Wait, okay. I wonder what changes that you were at some point. Oh, oh, she painted. She painted over. Which finder station? Thank you for the new location. 
Oh boy, hi lady. Which is ladle. There is no mystery in Cauldron Lake being named after its cauldron sharp sh shape, sorry. And yet there are many mis mysterious stories about the lake, it being a gloomy doorway to the underworld or a of a witch whose cauldron the lake really was. The legend tells that when the affections of a local sheriff went unanswered, he accused the lady in question of having bewitched him. She was drowned, but he, her dropped ladle grew into a strange tree named the witch's ladle. Oh, okay. The woman returned to avenge her wrongdoers. If she was not a witch before, she was one now. She killed the sheriff, drowning him in the lake, and she took out his heart and locked it in a box. With the heart, she would summon him from the lake to exact revenge on her behalf, or so the legend says. Interesting, because that's clearly the lady from Alan Wake 1, but the, her story has been changed quite a lot. Oh, I'm going to be able to go in there, aren't I? Yeah. Alright, just back to the general store, I guess. Birds, Jesus Christ. It's actually kind of spooky. <laughs> Without anything spooky happening. Other than the murder, you know. Oh, that's the murder site. Can I pass by without going near the murder site? Because it's going to force a, an interaction, probably. Actually, let's just fucking go. I'm sure I'll be able to explore later. Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service. Ready to get this case solved. Have the bodies behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. Okay. You still one piece of action. Ford can be a dangerous place. So, the FBI, huh? That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. <laughs> Those are real? You guys hiring? Boss, he's joking. Let's just see his body, shall we? Now this is the scene of the crime. Oh, penis. Now, we didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, deputy. No tar. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Can I explore it now? <laughs> Step one. Examine the corpse. No, I got it. Go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Ooh. Can I go this way? Nope. Yeah, yeah. Um, I want to explore the rest of the place. You guys, you guys wait here, right? Now that, that I've pro <laughs> I'll just leave Casey with him. I'm sure that's going to be fun for him. Let's see, let's see. Ooh. B. Monday 9-3. Some suspicious activity spotted. The fielder, though, 
thought he saw movement in the bushes. Footprints around the area were found, but some were compromised by the fielder. Note to self-train the fielder. Tuesday 9-4, uh, nothing to report. Some animals regular. Wednesday 9-5, hunters out after dark. Poachers heard some gunshots, not one of ours. Got to keep an eye on these people. They could get more than they bargained for out there. Who the fuck was here? Right, but door is closed. No, I don't think we will. This is important. Oh, someone was like straight up sleeping here. This doesn't look like it would be the FPC. Um, little lookout, because if it was, well, it's a pretty terrible lookout. Like, I expect it to be, like, an actual monitoring station, like, an actual, like, nice room. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'll be back in a second. I want to see what this house has. Man, oh, man. Wonder what's inside. Confused? Fo Follow these steps, wash your hands, take the chicken out of the fridge, take a nap. Wash your hands. Uh, okay. Hey there, Mr. Deer. Hey. Wash your hands. Where are you washing your hands? There it is. The sink. Is there a symbol near the sink? Or maybe the bathroom? Okay. Like a bow tie, but like slightly... Take the chicken. Okay. A bow tie now uh, vertically. And go to bed. Okay, like a weird pause. Let me go open it. Uh, uh huh. That one. Then vertically. And then that one. Yeah. Don't take anything if you aren't the one of the trees. <laughs> I'm taking everything. I think I give a shit what you you think. All right, let's properly investigate this place now. Let this be a warning to you, fellow trespassers. They say the lake is a caldera, something formed by erupting volcano or the sinkholes it lives in its wake. But what if that's not true? What if it's something else? Something less natural and much more man-made, intentional? I say the lake's not formed, it's designed. And it has a purpose. The lake is a hiding place. Beneath the calm surface lies a secret machinery ready to be activated at the press of a button. And the people with the button, they're in that big house by the lake preparing. I know it. First drawing, waterline, real caldera is made of volcano lava. Second drawing, waterline, engineer structure, strange machines. Okay. Someone. Hey, need Casey. What's the forest favorite shape? Please, Anderson. Just one case without the A triangle. <laughs> yes, you do. That was funny. That was good. That was good. That was good. Uh, a tree angle. <laughs> uh, that's the house I was just in. Okay, let's let's go down the path. A 
triangle. <laughs> it is a funny one. Oh no, this is where he slept, probably. The Birdman. Okay, I'll open that one. UFOs and you, the ultimate guide to spotting un unidentified flying objects. Writing this down in case it happens again and I forget, I got that feeling again. It hit me suddenly at 1.15am after I'd finished my hammer on the porch of the trailer. I got in the car and drove chasing it. Starry night, not much moon. As expected, it led me past Bright Falls to Cauldron Lake. I tried to find the right spot, the right emotion, the right thought. The combination to have it all aligned and make it happen. Terrified it would. It didn't. Not this time. Frustrated but relieved. I scanned the sky for shapes and objects, nothing, but when I blink repeatedly, I think I saw the afterimage of the octahedron. It faded fast. When I got ready to drive back, I, I was trying to see what words he scratched out. When I got ready to drive back, I felt someone watching me, here but not here, it's him, I know it is. Does he know I'm getting closer? I'm on, my, on, my, I'm on the right track. I was right to come to Bright Falls. How do you like the knitting, Hero? I have it made. It, I had it made just for you. I feel like these messages are a bit too personal. I'm getting flashbacks. Remember Ohio? Sure, the North Side slasher. But that case was completely different. The trees, Anderson. He hid the bodies in the forest. Oh, okay. The trees, Anderson. What do they mean? Oh, that's the... where we were in before. Alright, let's inspect that body now. Loot that body. Gotta loot that body now. Oh, just straight up here. Hey, I'm back. You guys had fun? Back, Anderson. Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. Unlock the first key image. You can place it on the case board inside the man palace. Up allows Saga to see active clues. The key image can be selected with A and placed on the case board. I think key image on the case board begins a new line of the investigation. When a key image is placed, it will prompt a new question. Another body has been found in the woods near Bright Falls. Perfect timing. Need to see if this is linked to the killings we're here to investigate. Objectives are viewable at the case board in your goals. You are now free to examine the case board or leave to complete this objective. Find evidence, okay. How much of these do I have? Six now. Almost there. Halfway there. All right. That looks like British uh, crisps, actually. Do they look like that in America, too? Huh. You can collect clues from the body and to progress the investigation. Inside stab wound. Chest cut open. Heart removed. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Early discovered clues can be placed onto the open question. Okay. So that's consistent, right? Users indicating victim was alive when restrained matches other cases.
Because the same with previous cases. I don't know if they found the heart for the other cases, right? Oh, I guess they did. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrist. Definitely matches the previous murder. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. Yeah. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. The clues have resolved an open question and unlocked a deduction. As you advance the investigation, new questions will be unlocked, updating your goals. You can check the updated goals by pressing Y. Learn more about the victim, learn more about the killer. You can now examine the case board and, or leave. Art was removed but then left on the table near the body. Has this Was this murder interrupted? You can find evidence and find out more about the victim. Oh, Alex Casey lunchbox. I found an Alex Case jump box with manuscript, manuscript fragments inside. Who does this belong to? Are there others? Point of interest cases track objects and information the saga has acquired to chart collection progress. Finding a Casey Moody lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message. Okay, right fall area, Cauldron Lake area. I guess this has been Cauldron Lake area. No inside mission is making knitting just for me. How do they know I knit? Or maybe just coincidence? No inside mentions Alan, Alan Wake. What the hell are these? The writer of the note is leaving these ins to inspire someone. Are they really for me? Certificate of Meritorious Achievement to Agent Saga Anderson, Day 8-8-2019, Supervisor Special Agent Stacy Merrow. That's as much as I can interact with things. Oh, no, I can interact with these now. What? 11 what? <laughs> <laughs> I like how he took that photo. Must be a kiddo. Oh, it is a child. Oh, that's nice. Mom may be gone, but whenever I read this, I feel like she's still here. Saga, for what it's worth, I think it's important that Logan grows up seeing you do what you love, what you're great at. That will teach you so much. There'll be times just like this when you question your choices, your competence, even your own sanity. When things get dark, remember to trust and love yourself as much as your family does. You won't be perfect, but I know you'll be amazing. Love you always, Mom. Oh. My first ever prank on Casey. A true classic. <laughs> A true classic. This mug always cheers me up. Not the worst, Mom. Oh, I should get that mug for myself once I have a kid. Oh. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Visiting my plus does not pause the game, so be mindful of nearby threats. Holy shit, okay. Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here, waiting. Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Was it for a camera? Have you identified the victim? Any idea who the victim is? No, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. What? About 13 years ago. I haven't heard a word about him since. 
Until next. What? Really? I I guess I can kind of see it. Holy shit, it was Nightingale? So you knew our victim. Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. Uh, what happened after he got fired? So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head. Chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago. 2010. The same as... All the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. Alan Wake. One. Okay. That is one hell of a way to end this episode. Holy shit. It was Nightingale? Oh my god. If I click load. Oh, can I save? Can I save? Everything. For now, at least. Mm -hmm. Anything clicking yet? Not sure. Need to think about it. Was he killed here or brought here after? For display. Where can I save? It, it makes it sound like you can do hard saves, but I don't have that option yet. I just have to continue playing it and it'll give me an option eventually. I had to review the clues. Sorry, I keep clicking the wrong button. Let me look it up actually. How to save and Alan Wake 2. It auto saves frequently. You can make a manual save in break rooms. Okay. Oops. So right now the last save was 10 minutes ago. Which means we'll have to replay a bit. Okay, so let's try to get it to save. Until I can get the actual fucking saves to work. Alright, uh... Let's switch cases to... Murder at Calden Lake. Casey went off the deep end. FBI fire him, that's the victim. Trust Casey's read on people, sounds like the victim wasn't mentally stable. Victim is Robert Nightingale, last seen in Bright Falls. Robert Nightingale, ex FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. Multiple sets of footprints, probably the killers. Heavy blood splatter on the table. Victims? You know, that's Mrs. It with killers. iPod. Can't associate it with anything. Oh. Sticking out his spot. I have a cold one while they waited for the victim. They planned for the murder to happen here. Passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Oh. Pearl 
filing. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition for revelation. Piece it together. You can use profile inside Saga's mind palace to get inside the head of a suspect and victim. Did it save? Damn it. Alright, let's profile it. Using your intuition, Saga can discover new clues by profiling people's interest. Missing person. It's not how profiling works, but okay. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Okay. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Like the snakes, it goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. It wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual, a Nightingale component. They didn't see him as a person, more like a container for something. Okay. More clues. Oops. I keep pressing the wrong button. I just, I'm trying to figure it out as it's safe yet. No fucking damn it. Don't. Dog. <laughs> I just. This is one to end. Uh, Nightingale came from Cauldron Lake, so that's the victim. Oh, came from there. You go. I can feel that Nightingale. I can feel that Nightingale came from the lake, but why now? After thirteen years, where has he been? There was another thing, wasn't it? Check check the lake shore. The lake is connected. Let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Okay. Well, I'll just uh, I'll just wait here. You do that. Point a flashlight in your back. Is this one of your hunches, Anderson? Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction, from the lake. Probably looking for shelter, safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night, possibly nude. The killers knew he was here, ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses at Booker. The job is unfinished. And that seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? Haven't figured that part out yet. Mm-hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. I didn't know trees got that big. Oh, this is a tree we went through. It's closed now. To get out more. It is kind of creepy though. But footprints. Look at it. There's a piece of paper on the ground. Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingale? They come out from under the boulders. Makes no sense. Can I, can I get the paper? Oh, there you go. Thank you. A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Uh oh. Lines scratched out and an attic with a pen. Mm -hmm. Like a manuscript. A page of a story. Hmm. Killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Uh oh, darkness. Reading, Reading the words. words. These, These words, words felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. 
for someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept? Someone's been watching us. Playing this game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the truth. It did save, so I'll stop it a second. Right, it did save, so I'll stop it there. Hopefully, it has saved, and when I start next time, it won't be gone. But yeah, thank you so much for joining me. I'm so excited to see where this goes. I know it's not going to go anywhere and it's not going to explain everything, but it's another Alan Wake journey and I'm very excited for it. Thank you and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.